data from J.P. Morgan Chase shows Americans have more money in their bank accounts than before the pandemic. But households across the country are quickly spending mm -hmm. that extra cash. Uh, Abba Batari uh, is joining us now to help us break down uh, the numbers. I hope I said your name right. She is an economics correspondent for The Washington Post, and she recently wrote an article on this issue. Let me get your name properly said. Abba Patrai. Okay, thank you, Abba. <laughs> so tell us more about what 9 million J.P. Morgan Chase accounts showed. Well, it's no secret that inflation has been a major problem for many households for the last few years, but it turns out that the median household still has about 11% more in their bank accounts than they did before the pandemic. Um, now that's a rapid drawdown from you know a peak last year when they had about 25 to 40 percent more money in the bank but people are still more flush than they were in 2019. you know it's so interesting to hear that because we've it, this this has caused a lot of conversation here on set because you talk to so many people and they're having such a hard time just making it week to week and yet you hear that people still have so much money in their bank accounts but this is really it seems uh, a dwindling cash amount from the, uh, the amount of money that they got through stimulus checks at the height of the pandemic. Absolutely. So there's two sides of the story. One is that we have a very strong job market. Many people have jobs. Unemployment is near historic lows and people are getting raises. Um, in a lot of cases, raises are starting to outpace inflation. And so people do have money. They have a steady stream of income coming in. On the other side, like you said, there was all this extra money from the pandemic, either money they'd saved up from not traveling or not going out to eat or government stimulus money that has been sitting in the bank. And I think psychologically, a lot of people are, you know, sort of starting to spend that now. They're spending it down and they're saying, wait a minute, like my bank account is only depleting and I see little prospect of actually building it back up. And so I think that's making people feel like they're in worse financial shape than the numbers actually show. I feel like this is like a continuation of a theme that we've been seeing since the pandemic. All this kind of like contradictory information, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, we're headed towards a recession. Interest rates are going up. People have jobs. They're still spending money. It just it's like it's it, the normal indicators just don't work the way they mm -hmm. used to. And this almost Absolutely. feels like a, a case of like, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Like, <laughs> it's not the money you have in your bank account, it's how much you're spending that really tells you how you feel about the economy, mm -hmm. right? But what insight does this data give us into the state of the U.S. economy? People still have savings in their bank accounts. Does that mean we're doing well? I mean, we have yet to see sort of how this all plays out in the end, but it's been such a whirlwind few years. Um, at the beginning, people just kind of hunkered down at the beginning of the pandemic. They didn't spend on anything for a while. And then we saw this huge burst of revenge spending. Uh, people were buying Peloton bikes and appliances mm -hmm. and houses and these big ticket items. They still weren't comfortable totally venturing out of the house, but they were buying a lot of goods. Um, that has since changed. Now people are traveling up a storm. They are mm. going shopping. They are, you know, going out to restaurants. They're going to the theater. They're going to Taylor Swift concerts. And so there's been a huge burst of spending in the last year or so, but we are starting to see signs that that's stabilizing. Mm. People are sort of coming down to a more you know, a more equilibrium pattern of spending where they're, they've sort of gotten this pent up demand out of the way and they're settling back into their pre-pandemic spending habits. Yeah, they're getting over that YOLO hurdle. That was so much fun. <laughs> it, it was fun, it was fun. But then yeah. you look at your bank account. But, you know, uh, Ava, we do all this and this is all happening with the backdrop of inflation levels. How are Americans' earnings keeping up with those? So inflation has come down quite a bit. Yeah. We're at about 3% from 9%, you know, last year. And Americans are starting to feel that, I think. They're feeling much better about the economy. We've seen consumer sentiment levels at highs that we haven't seen in a year and a half. And so people are starting to notice that prices are moderating, whether it's for gas or groceries or even, you know, their rent when it's up for renewal. Um, so we are reaching a better, a better, more stable situation with prices as well. That is good news to hear. Abba Badarai, thank you so much for joining us.